Hi and welcome to this presentation. My name is Marvin Eisenberger and the work I'm presenting here is called Smooth Shells Multi-Scale Shape Registration with Functional Maps. Here we are revisiting the classical problem of finding shape correspondences. In particular we want to find dense point-to-point -point correspondences for a given pair of input shapes. One assumption that a lot of prior work relies on is that the two input shapes are nearly isometric. This is for example given if you look at the same object in two different non-rigid poses like in the example here. However, in practice we find that a lot of interesting matching tasks have non-isometric pairs, like for example the interclass pair shown here. We as humans immediately have a strong intuition of where a given point on the dog belongs to on the camel. However, many popular matching methods struggle with examples like this. For once this comes from the near isometry assumption but also because typically a lot of matching methods rely on robust local features. The problem is that locally two parts of the animals, like for example the feet, can look very different. The assumption we make here is that the two objects do not necessarily have the same high frequency features, but rather that they have the same low frequency core structures, like the limbs of the two animals. To that end, we introduce the so-called shell operator which allows us to remove the fine scale geometry of a given input shape and reduce it to these stick figureish approximations which we call smooth shells. The hyperparameter k controls the level of detail. The bigger k, the more details we get and for k going to infinity it converges to the input x. In order to leverage all the information that is available to us, we embed both input shapes into the product space of extrinsic features and spectral features. Like this, we can combine the strength of intrinsic and extrinsic matching methods. We also use the outer normals of the shape, so overall we go from a 3D embedding to a 3 plus k plus 3 dimensional embedding. Now we look at the two shapes in this product space and we will define a transformation that aligns the two shapes, both the extrinsic coordinates and the intrinsic spectral features. For the extrinsic part, this is a linear transformation in some low rank basis that tries to align it with the coordinates of the reference shape y. For the spectral features, this is exactly a functional map. Overall, a method matches two input shapes in a coarse to fine manner. First, we match the coarse features, and then we add more and more details to refine the alignment such that in the end we obtain a matching of the original inputs. In order to prevent our optimization from running into unmeaningful local minima, we invest some extra effort into computing a good initialization using a Markov chain Monte Carlo method. In particular, we sample various different proposal alignments and assess their quality according to the alignment tightness. The proposal with the tightest alignment is then used to initialize the actual matching pipeline. We demonstrate that our method can compute highly accurate correspondences on a wide range of benchmarks. Tosca and Scape are classical datasets with isometric pairs. The other two benchmarks focus on particular types of input noise. TopKids has shapes with changing topology. Shrek 19 connectivity consists of humans with varying sampling density and quality. We also evaluated a method on the Faust online challenge consisting of real human scans. Although our method did not achieve the highest accuracy, it is the best method among the general purpose matching methods that do not use a parameterized human model or improve their performance on a benchmark using machine learning. Apart from the matching accuracy, we also evaluate the matching smoothness and compare it to other methods. Having smooth maps is crucial for many applications. Here we show that a method produces the most useful matching by using it to compute a texture map. What is remarkable in this context is that on the scape benchmark, a method outperforms the ground truth in terms of map smoothness. As a matter of fact, the few places where the geometry deforms are typically even meaningful, like for example the armpits of the human, rather than random noise. Finally, a method is able to compute high quality correspondences for challenging interclass pairs. Thank you for your attention.